One hand, the right hand has diggers on it, but not the left. That's crazy. Well, this is, oh. Okay, good morning. I am going to try to put this composter together and I'm here in the chicken yard. So I'm going to put it right about in here for the first one. And I'm working around all the girls here. <coughs> I hear you, Mr. Roo. Okay, so we cut this in half. We simply um, put tape on it at the halfway mark and Monty cut it uh, for me the other day so I could get out here and do this while he was working. It also came with fiberglass stakes that we cut in half. So we should have, I think we have 10. And it's this type of composter. It's a um, 220 gallon and it's just off of Amazon. So we'll see. Okay, just went and got some. These are actually work scissors, probably garden scissors. Um, they'll do the trick. So I'll throw my trash over the fence because these chickens will get into everything. Oh man, that end of that just pinched my skin. Ow! Now, why would they make them come together like that in a point? Crazy. Crazy. Okay, that's off though. <sighs> they sent me gloves. Boy, I thought I got, well, can't see in there. <laughs> I thought I got all of the packing out of there. Woo. Glad we didn't cut through them. Oh, and they're, I've never used these before. This is wild. One hand. One hand has diggers. Yeah. One hand, the right hand has diggers on it, but not the left. That's crazy. I could actually see using these though. Huh. Okay. I don't know. Those little fingertips don't come off, so hmm. you'd have to be just working in the garden and nothing else. Okay. My best guess is I'm going to try to put one side together and probably stake it. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but you stick them in. Okay, that's not too bad. This is the key, I guess, the little lock, and you stick it through those, those sides, and then you turn it, and it acts as a lock. I may actually have to use several of these just to kind of get it open and to stay where I want it to while I'm getting it all the way open. I really don't know how big to expect. Okay. And I know girls, it's almost getting there. Chickens are so curious. And these are just, I'm just doing this temporary to kind of see how big it is. We will come over here to this fence and we will toss stuff over. We'll come over to our fence, toss the compost, 
over here, over here in the bin and let the chickens do the work. This is making it much bigger than I actually thought it was gonna be, but I'm okay with that. Okay, this is really big. So I am going around and I'm putting these little stakes in through the holes and I'm trying to get them a little deeper. Okay, I thought I had a few more. It looks like I've got all 10 in, so I need to just make sure like the circle's a little off right in here, the oval. It's so much bigger than I thought. A really, it, I thought this was a, I guess it would have been about four feet around if I'd have just done it in one. But this is, I think this is gonna work really well. Okay, let's see if I can shut the gate. I think they opened it. <laughs> Look at this. They're all, they're having a heyday. Don't go out the gate, guys. Those are the roosters that have, we clipped their wings and we put them out in the east field and they found their way back yesterday. This little coop yard has been used for the last, oh, since early summer as a compost yard. So everything has been thrown in here and um, they've been working it. It's just now I want all the compost to be thrown in here. And then when it gets starts getting built up, they will work it every day. I'm getting ready to go get some uh, bedding and manure and all that out of their coop yard. So by letting them work this every day, my hope is that it keeps it contained. And then we can lift this up. I'll have Monty help me and we can lift this up and like move it down and we can use this when we can use this up when it's been compacted down. And I just kind of wanted it contained, but I'm kind of excited. I think this is going to, this is gonna work. This is gonna wanna, this is gonna be what I want it to be. Hope. Oh. And I, it, it might take a little bit of adjusting. So I'm just threading these through. I'm rounding it out a little bit. Well, this is, oh. this isn't bad for the first try. I do think I might need some deeper stakes. But I have those green fiberglass um, garden stakes. I don't know if they're three feet or four feet. I think I'll go get some because I think that's going to be what really gives it some stability because this ground is so soft. There's a lot of compost already on the top. So it's not holding super tight. So I think I'll go get a few of those and we'll see how those work. So let me go see what I've got. Okay, um, I'm going to attempt this one. Uh, I just want to get a, I wanna see if I can cut these in half. The last thing Monty cut on this was his, were those fiberglass rods. This is a fiberglass rod, only bigger, so. I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to see if I can do it. I know how to run this. I've run it lots of times. You just never cut this before. So um, I'm going to go slow. And if it looks like, I'll just, I'll just stop if it doesn't look like it's going to work. I actually think I have fiberglass in my hand. Probably do.
Okay, quick and easy. It's actually a hollow rod. I didn't know that. It's just a hollow metal rod. Okay. There's two. And I reset the gauge over here where I know right where it is. And it's not like that this is, it's not like they have to be exact. They could all be different sizes. But I just set the gauge, and that way we're pretty good. So, let's try this again. much better. So I could make this into two, but I want to see how it is with this size. I'm going to go into the coop and um, get and clean out some of their bedding and I'm going to dump it in here. This is a big composter but I, I think letting the chickens um, work it, I think it's going to be better that it's bigger than smaller. But the one thing about it is I can always take those two pieces, separate them, close them off, and then I've got two four foot sections. I just think more girls can get in here and scratch around and then we can lift it and move it. Uh, and if this works good, and this is the way we want to stick with it, I, I may get another one if I need it. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep on filling it. And I have put several loads of their deep litter bedding in the um, compost pile. When I get done, I'll probably put another two or three of these trash bins not exactly how I used to do my cleaning the coop, the coop out, but I'll get several more of those bins um, or these trash barrels dumped in there and then I can, I can get the, the fresh bedding. They tried to get up on it. I'll get the fresh bedding put in the coop. And um, since I kind of in the winter, I do the deep, deep litter method so I don't have to do this too often. This is gonna be a good base to get the compost going. And I think I'll go ahead and grab some leaves and stuff at some point too and put in there. Um, there is a lot of heavy deep manure in this. So you can see they are loving it. And this is gonna be a good, a good start. And a lot sturdier so this this might actually work best
gets about 58, 59 degrees, or at least that was the high today. So you can see the progress I made on the compost pile. Got their coop cleaned out. So I think I'm happy with that. I put about eight more stakes in there, those green stakes. Now it's pretty, um, uh, it's pretty sturdy now. So it may still be bigger than I want, but then again, 24 hens, I don't know. So beautiful sunset, oh, beautiful sunset. Hi girls, hi Kellogg. Got the bedding. Oh, hi buddy. No one in? They love coming in at night. Okay, girls. Hang on. Come on. Brody's up there. A lot of times he's down here running and jumping and playing. Hi, baby. You already had yours, sweetie. You had some leftover steak, too, huh? Yes, you did. Mwah. You silly boy. Okay, snapper. Ferris got her little bowl over here and just stayed there. Yep. These girls are woofing it up as fast as they can. I think it's a pretty successful day. I'm going to close this one down. We've had a great day, but the sun is going down. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. And um, as always, you know, we will see you on the next one. Oh, and have a blessed day. I hope it was a blessed day for you today. Like and subscribe. Click those buttons. And you guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you on the next one.